right, today is Sunday, July 17, 2016. And today we have a bunch of people coming over. Uh, on Sunday afternoons we often hang out and uh, there's a handful of people that are helping us plan and start our first new church. And so they'll be here. And then of course anyone that's interested is invited to come out as well. So we have a few new guests coming out today. So there'll be some kids running around, some veggies will be eaten, and overall it should be a good day. I'm hoping that someone asks, hey, can I see your drone? That's what I'm hoping for today. Well, and also hoping for like good conversation and just getting to, to know one another and having a good time. I, I'm hoping for that as well. But the drone as well. We're gonna eat some life-affirming nacho dip. Life-affirming nacho dip? That's actually what it's called. Ooh. Plant-based, it tastes amazing. It tastes amazing? It does, I tasted it before I put it in. All right, see how it goes today. It does say it's life affirming, so really, how could it be bad? <laughs> you guys are used to doing the question around the dinner table, but I got some friends around the table today. So the kids are out of this video. All right, everybody listen up, because you're all gonna be on this vlog today. I need to know what is the best job you've ever had in your life. I'll give you a second thing about it. My best job was working the Dinosphere at Marine World Africa USA in Vallejo, California. I just took Caleb's. Dang it. <laughs> My best job ever, I was working at Heaven on Earth Ranch out in Alberta, and it really was Heaven on Earth at the foot of the mountains. It was just prairies and then mountains, riding horses, Texas Longhorn cattle, and picking raspberries and blackberries off the mountains. It was, it was pure awesome. Uh, Best job I ever had, and currently still am, is being a husband to my wife. Aww. Aww. <laughs> 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 Aww. I don't. <laughs> That's what happens when your wife goes away for three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> so, quick, emotion. Rochelle, what's the best job you've ever had? <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get the same answer. <laughs> Stocking shelves at Canadian Tire when I was in school. That was an amazing job. Do you uh, hear the sarcasm? I, I was gonna ask. <laughs> I was gonna ask. No, man, I think my first job ever was pumping gas. And that's that was pretty awesome. Nice. I'm not sarcasm, man, I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> People would always compliment me. I got tips sometimes. Nice. Cool. Wow, you must have been a good gas pumper. I was, I was the best gas pumper I before, was, yeah. sure. My favorite job was probably servicing grain terminals across Western Canada. I don't know, I just, I like the problem solving. It was always something fun to fix. Big wrenches and manly stuff. How Saskatchewan stuff. is this vlog right now? That, that is very <laughs> Saskatchewan. Right? I'm not even from here. <laughs> Best job I've ever had is probably the job I have right now, but uh, that's at the potash mine, so it's a good job, but it's not like that fun, I guess. But <laughs> one of the funner jobs I did was working on the oil rigs on the, as a derrick hand, working, seeing the country and moving and I don't know. I've only had three jobs. McDonald's, John Deere, and Wakeview. Oh, it had to have been McDonald's. <laughs> free, like, what? free McDonald's food? Yeah. I ate McDonald's every day for seven years. That's bad. I've had too many jobs. <laughs> well, like over 20. <laughs> it's hard to choose. <laughs> um, probably Starbucks is pretty good. Can't go wrong. Or uh, graphic design. It's pretty cool too. So both cool <laughs> jobs. I kind of want to do yeah. both those jobs. You're so <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was pumping gas before. Account manager at at Shaw downtown Vancouver because the view was incredible. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, the only question left is, Ken, did you bring it? Got it. <laughs> oh, <I> got it. <laughs>
This could be a really bad idea, but it's going to be awesome. <laughs> Tow rope. I'm not saying that I wanted anyone to get hurt, but I'm a little bit surprised that one of these guys didn't injure themselves. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be me. <laughs> <laughs> supper here on the deck after all of our friends have left. Luke has informed me that when everyone's in bed that he takes our car, goes to the store, and buys beef. So let me get this straight. Is that what you're saying Luke? So Luke, tell me what kind of beef are you getting? Um, grass fried beef. Grass fried beef? No, I think he means grass fed. Grass fed beef? Okay, that's that's interesting. <clears throat> Although Luke is the youngest of four, and I do believe that he's a pretty resourceful kid. I'm not four! <laughs> yeah, I know, you're five. I didn't say four. I said even though you're the fourth kid, that means there's three other kids above you. Anyway, all that to say, he's very resourceful. I don't think he's sneaking off in the middle of the night to get beef, though. You like your rice and beans, though, don't you? Mm-hmm, okay. It's okay? Rice and beans? What do you got there? A little broccoli? I don't like it. You don't like broccoli? <laughs> Nobody likes broccoli. I only yeah, like broccoli sauce. Really <laughs>